to open now. Lots of foam. Nice thick padding. That's good. Considering where it had to come from. Try doing this one handed. This looks like a uh, extra film. It looks in good condition. Okay, this is the unit. I almost dropped the phone on you. All right, so that comes straight out. Okay, and there is on that a foam seal to protect door and delivery. Now when I pulled it out, it came off, but it does look like this is on the edge to protect it from rubbing, okay? So that is in there. It's this interesting stuff. Can I focus you? Focus you. But anyways, it just went around that edge to protect it from rubbing down there. And there's everything in there, still in the box. What we're going to do is let gravity do a little work here with me. Here we go. Okay. Down the plastic. Pull that away. Everything's looking good in there. Um, plastic has one twist tie or something here that's poking out of it, but I don't think that's a big idea, big, big deal. Take off the strand wrap. Shipping wrap, sorry, shipping wrap. Okay, shipping wrap is off. Sorry, I had to put it on pause and come back. But um, there is more of this nice foam here protecting the tank against the base. So again, I do not see any issues right now with any visual um, marring from delivery, from package and shipping and delivery. So that's good, that's good. Um, I, if that was supposed to be tight, it wasn't very tight, but there's all my cables. It's got a screwdriver. Um, and there's the famous plastic spatula is in there. That spatula, if you remember, do not use that spatula to actually pry any parts off your build plate. That spatula you need for when you're cleaning your tank screens, your tank film. Okay, so that spatula right under there, do not use it to sharpen it, do not use it to scrape anything, keep it special. All right, or get a new one somewhere else, but don't use one that's sharp where you'll uh, puncture your screen. All right, so this comes off. A nice little piece of plastic there to protect that. And that comes out. And here is my screen. And I'm looking at it for the first time. And I don't know, it's hard to tell on camera, but I can see it with my eye right here. There, I think you can see it in that shot. Right there is a little bit of an angle, uh, a little, I don't know what you want to call that, like an air bubble look. And also over here in the corner is another air bubbly look. But it may just be the screen protector that's on there. 
Uh, since I haven't read or done anything with this yet, I don't know, and I won't make any comments to that until I can be sure. Um, it looks like there's a little scuff. Oh, nope, it's just some dust. A little bit of dust was on there from shipping. So, that's all looking good. We'll take off the cover here and see what's on the inside shortly. Okay. Cover is off. We're looking in there. Focus. Okay, there we go. That. Not good focus, come on. There we go. Okay. That's the board. I'll try to get some still shots. Okay, now let's look at the projector sign. Uh, I do not see. I thought there was supposed to be some rubber or plastic stuff in there to protect that from dropping down too far. I do not see it. Where that meets. Again, I'll get some still shots. But there you go. A rotator. Look on the back of it. Maybe anything there. No, I don't see anything there. So maybe that was forgotten. Or maybe it's how it is. There's my connectors for the outs, or I should say for the ins. And power, which I'm assuming power is in this box here, which I have not actually opened yet. So let me get that box open. Okay, back to this little box. Cut the seals on it. And right off the bat, we have a little jar of juice. Blue seal. Oh, disposable gloves. Disposable latex gloves. If you can read that. My camera wants to focus wrong. So I can examine this. Maybe I should have them on. Okay. If you don't know already, SLA printers with the, the resin goop, it can get messy. So lots of paper towels. And here is I have to get a um, a better shot because I can't there ah it was focused 12 volts 5 amps so almost looks like a power supply from an old laptop I used to have Anyways, a cup to store, I'm assuming, leftover resin in. And then here's the knobs that replace the metal knobs here that were only used for shipping. And, of course, there's a top uh, knob for the actual, uh, was it, the... the build plate holder okay onto the z-axis so that's it that's unpacked overall I'm I'm happy that there's less damage than I expect it I still don't know what's going on with that screen um, of course until I get power to it and fire it up I won't know and We'll see how it looks then. Hopefully that's not a bad screen. 
If it's a bad screen, I have to call Wan Ho and have him ship it to me. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Take care.